before you i have this big old box man this is the black web uh what is it black web portable bluetooth party speaker all right so uh, a few weeks back we had a hurricane tore up my poor little city and uh, I, I did this uh, fundraiser and I needed a karaoke machine or actually I was looking for a megaphone and uh, in Walmart I found this bad boy and I was like hey this is the best thing I could find and for the price I was willing to pay I was looking for a megaphone I was expecting to spend like 30 40 bucks but this one was like I don't know 120 at Walmart and I took it home and I was pleasantly surprised with what I saw and the, the sound quality I received out of this thing. So, you know what, I'm gonna spare you, you know, having to watch me wrestle with this box. So I didn't bother packing it up again and I'm not gonna unbox it for you. It's sitting right here up under the table. I'm just gonna read a couple of things off the box. All right, so 50, uh, 56 watts of speak, I'm sorry, 56 watts of peak power. Uh, you got some LED lighting effects, uh, retractable handle, which is, you know, kind of like your suitcase or whatever. You got a 3.5 millimeter aux in, a microphone, USB and guitar inputs, FM radio, and five built-in presets. What? Okay, let's... <laughs> so let's get into this thing, man. All right, check it out. Man, it's, it's, it's huge. It's like in my face. I know. That's what she said. Um, okay, so how am I going to do this? Like, I got... Okay. I guess y'all ain't worried about seeing me. Let's just put this thing over to the side like this. It's actually, it's not too heavy, man. I'd say what, mm, 25 pounds or so. I should have read that on the box, but let's just go through some stuff, man. It's got a lot of stuff on it. And uh, let's just start with the handle. How about that? All right, so as far as build quality though, talking about the handle, as far as build quality, it's actually got this rubberized grip on it. Uh, everything seems pretty sturdy. It's not a ruggedized speaker. It's got this uh, rough plastic texture. Uh, it's not like, you know, super durable. I mean, I'm, I don't know. It's, it's, it's rock solid, but it's not ruggedized, if that makes sense. Um, you know, it will scratch and stuff, but I mean, it, it seems built very solid. And if you look right here, uh, pull that back. Right here, you got the, the handle, but then you got this retractable handle, like a suitcase. Uh, so you can just roll that bad boy through the airport if you need to. Just kidding. No, like, you know, what if you went to the park like I did? Our, our thing was at the park and uh, I just rolled it out, you know, like it was a little suitcase. Um, and the backside actually has nothing on it. So that's the last time we're gonna talk about that. Uh, let's talk about this, this side right here. Nothing. So that's the last time we're gonna talk about that. Now, go around to the, the good side, the fancy side. So right here, we got your wall, uh, wall power input. And uh, you just pull this flap up. I got some stuff right here. Oh, man. Unboxing big stuff, man. All right, so there's the mic. Anyway, so you got your, uh, remember the old school radios? <laughs> it's got that same plug. You plug into the old school radios, man. It's just, a, it's, you know, it's not this power brick on it or nothing. Same old old school plug. But, I mean, you could leave this thing plugged up if you wanted to, but this is straight up battery power, man. It's like rechargeable battery, so it is very portable. Uh, and that's that's one of the reasons I bought it, and I thought it was a good value. So there's your wall input right there. You got this little uh, weatherproof flap right here to keep the water from getting into it. Not waterproof, it's just kind of, you know, water resistant, being that there's a flap right there. Uh, you got your mic, you see? Yeah, you got your mic input right there. And then you've got uh, mic and guitar input right here. So if you're doing like a guitar amp and a microphone, you would put that right there. Um, if you uh, just need a mic, which we have right here and we'll test out, uh, you put it right here. And the mic works really well. I'll show you in a minute. Um, put that flap right there. You got your on off switch. There's two on offs on this thing. So this is actually the main circuit breaker right here. This is the main power. Ain't nothing gonna work unless you flip this up. And when you flip it up, you get your LEDs right here to tell you how much charge you got. Now you do need the instructions to figure out how to charge this thing because it's not like just plugging it into a wall. If you plug it in while this thing is on, I don't think it's actually gonna charge. So don't try that. Turn it off, plug it in, and then charge it. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on since we got it on over that side. And I'm gonna turn it around to the face. All right, so, hmm. All right, up here, we got a USB port, okay? Standard USB port. And that is where you can um, plug plug in like a, I don't know, a memory stick or something if you got some music on there or something. Uh, right here is another USB port, but this one's for charging. This is what, five volts? Yeah, five volts DC, so you can charge up your stuff, man. 
Uh, I don't, see, oh, I threw the box over there. <laughs> I can't tell you how many, you know, milliamps or anything like that. Like that. You can look it up in the description. Uh, let me see here. Starting over here, you got your auxiliary in. So if you got your 3.5 millimeter cable, you can, you know, throw your old school iPhone on this bad boy or iPod or MP3 player or any, any phone that you got with a 3.5 on it. And going through some of the more of these buttons, of course you got your power button, which you'll press and hold guitar frequency button then you got your uh, presets um, I believe these are your yeah these are gonna be your radio presets uh, and this actually does control the music on your phone um, with the play play and pause and back and forward track and you can also uh, what is uh, what was this oh this is the lighting this is the lighting button because uh, it does have these fancy lights on it and then we have a mic or a guitar mic and guitar volume control right here which will turn it all the way down don't want no surprises and then we got the main volume up and down right here we're gonna turn this one all the way down no surprises all right so as far as buttons and interface man that's it all right and you know all this comes in this nice i like the package man it, it looks pretty cool but let's get this thing powered on so we can uh it says high up here did the lights come on yeah so the lights have different patterns and i haven't paired this to my brand new awesome um Galaxy Note 8, that's what's up. Galaxy Note 8 users in the house, roll call. Oh, there it is, Black Web. It says Black Web right there. So once you turn it on, it goes into a pairing mode already. You just need to make sure you're paired. All right, connected for media audio. Now, we're gonna play some Ryan Little because that's not gonna get me flagged. Uh, but I gotta find it. So let's open up Google Play Music because that's how I roll. Mm. Go to my playlist. I'll be jamming some Ryan Little when I'm in the car. Dude, I'll be jamming your tunes in the car. Where is my, all right, there we go. All right, uh, playlist. I got a playlist on here called Picture Me Rolling, man. It starts off with Tupac. Okay, that's the wife calling. I'm gonna decline it. Okay, so <laughs> don't tell her, I, don't tell her I rejected her phone call. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me see here. All right, Ryan Little, traffic jam. You know what, let's play something with some more bass. Um, let's see here. Drop top. Yeah, there it is. All right, Ryan Little drop top. So I'm gonna turn this all the way up on my phone. Okay, all the way up on the phone. Then we're gonna crank this up. Oh, see them lights? All right, this is, uh, it's about halfway up. Brian Little. <laughs> Woo! All right, I'm gonna turn it up all the way. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, so there is some distortion if you turn this thing all the way up. Like, I didn't even get all the way up. But halfway is freaking loud. Halfway is ridiculous. Oh, snap. Okay, so uh, that's that. Now the cool thing about this is, let me just play this track and let it ride. You can plug in this microphone. Where's the mic input? Oh, the mic input's on the other side. Let me do this. Come around here. Plug it into the to the regular mic, not the mic and guitar. Uh, you know what? On this one, there's no... You know you plug in something and you get that, that final snap, that push where you can feel it locked in? Mine doesn't... I mean, you can feel it, but it feels like it's worn out or something like that. I don't know, man. You know, it is what it is. It wasn't that expensive, so you can't expect all of it to be awesome. But the mic is plugged in. And, uh... Turn this mute down a little bit more. Mic is plugged in, and then there is a power switch on the mic. So, there's, that's like a safeguard. Oh, by the way, you actually had to plug the mic up with your XLR cable. So, there you go. So, you can actually have your own mic if you want to and uh, plug it in like this. And then you turn it on. It's a safeguard, just in case, you know, you need to turn the mic off, but it's on. Testing, 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 testing. There you, there you go. What? Oh, snap! Okay, okay. Oh man, I feel like, uh, I feel like DJ Khaled right now. We the best muse! Okay, we're not gonna do that. Okay, Ryan Little just went off 
And uh, let me see, this bad boy is, this is, it's all the way up, it's maxed out. And um, cool thing about this is, I hope this is actually coming through on the speaker. Let me see, okay. I got a Ryan Little, play, Ryan Little track playing in the background. Man, my nose is itching. But uh, can you hear my voice over that music? It's real, yeah. Okay, y'all want me to spit some bars real quick? Okay, here I go. Here I go. Oh, no, I ain't gonna do that for you. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but for real, though, this is nice, man. This is pretty cool. So the volume here, the volume on the mic is all the way up. And you've got your Bluetooth music playing in the back. And you can control the music. And you can MC however you want to MC. And then when it's time to shut your mouth and let the party rock, you turn your mic down or off and you crank up that music. Hey! Hey! I gotta talk some more. It's a review. I gotta talk some more. Okay, we turn this up. Okay, so should I complete the rest of the review coming from microphone to microphone? Should I do that? Where did he do that? Oh, snap. Okay, so what else? What? Let me turn this off, man. I'm messing with myself. All right, so what else does this thing do? What else is it capable of? Let me pause my music real quick. Okay, so that's down. Mic should be off. There we go. Okay, so what else is this thing capable of? Oh, let's talk about the... Uh, let me see here real quick. So you can see the lights going with the music. I do believe you can change the change the pattern. Let's see. I saw where I changed the pattern at some point. Um, did I just turn it off? Oh, <laughs> okay. So if you press the power button, you can uh, change the uh, change to the radio stations. I don't have any. I don't have any set. And then there's the auxiliary. Hit it again. We're back to Bluetooth, and it should be connected. And then we play again. So you can actually control your music from here. That song, man. That's just a trill ass song. All right, let me see. I know you can change the, the pattern on this uh, deal. Let me see. I'm looking in my camera. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we got this horizontal thing right here. Let me turn it up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if you hold it again, this is that recycle looking button so now we got this boring uh vertical deal right here let's do it again then we go we got the little wave going let's see all right that was boring too man wait that reminds me of kit from knight rider that looks like kit There's another one where it was going out at first. Now it's going in. Okay. Oh, now we got some 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 patterns going. Okay. Let's see what else. I didn't know there were so many. And that's off. And the first one, I like this one. Okay. Wait till that bass drops. Unless it's the end of the song. Let me see. Oh, it's the end of the song. But I think we got some more bass drops. It's coming. It's coming. Here it go. All right, you see it? Every time the bass drops. Okay, okay, I gotta turn this thing off. Let's turn it off. Let's just, there it goes. Hey man, it's the Black Web. You know what, this thing has such a generic name. Let me, let me look over here. It's the Black Web Portable Party Bluetooth Speaker. <laughs> anyway, man, this thing is a hit, man. It's definitely a keeper. I didn't know whether I wanted to actually keep this thing or not, but hey, this is gonna be an addition to our household. Hey, I might even have some uh, some uh, secret footage of me singing to my wife, man. I, I was serenading her uh, <laughs> when I got this thing. I think I was playing some some Smokey Robinson, man. <laughs> and it, it, the Smokey Robinson was playing, man, on the speaker, and I just couldn't help myself. I grabbed the mic and just let it go. Anyways, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, and I sure as hell can't sing. I just wanted to share the speaker with y'all, man. But anyways, before I get out of here, y'all go ahead and tap on that like button, smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one. You